Here with John Favreau, welcome and congratulations Hi. Hi. Thank tonight. You. Thank you. Can you just please tell me a little bit about your project on? Uh, uh, well, there's a. I have a few projects going on. The, the VR project that I'm working on is something called Gnomes and Goblins. We we launched a uh, a, a, pre, a preview of it. It's available for free. It's on Steam. Uh, but Gnomes and Goblins is a, an immersive fantasy experience where you interact with a little woodland creature, a little a little goblin in a in a fantasy forest and. Uh, and we've developed a, a pretty good uh, AI system for that creature, so you could uh, sort of befriend him, and the way you behave and how you act in the story affects the outcome. So it's it's looking to take advantage to to uh, a, a new form of storytelling that VR offers. So it's an interactive television show or film, or it's just well, a, it's a game? It, it's, a, it's a VR experience. It's built off of a game engine, but it's not a, a game in that you're not you're not trying to. Uh, um, solve a puzzle or uh, uh, attack anything or keep score. It's more in an immersive simulated environment and it's the beginning of, it's a real vertical slice of what the full experience will be that we're working on right now that's going to take about a year to finish. Wow. When do you think we're going to start seeing more VR content out? I don't know. I think mobile is probably the first place you'll see it proliferate more because it's much more accessible uh, until there's more units out there for room scale VR. Uh, it's going to be hard to make it a, uh, you know, uh, it's hard to monetize the the amount of uh, the amount of uh, people that have to work for a certain amount of time has a certain cost associated with it, and there's not really a way to make that kind of money like there is in in gaming, and so that slows down the development process, and so uh, I think you're going to see it it make more sense from a business standpoint in mobile, and so hopefully the breakthroughs that happen in mobile will inform the rest, but as people begin to experience it either in a communal setting, like an arcade type setting, or the few early adopters who, who have VR in their home, as better and better applications come out, I think once you get that killer app, people realize that it's something they have to do and you kind of have to create an urgency to, to try it because there's so many other ways to be entertained now and VR is a, is a is not the you know most common platform. Yeah, so. but it was it was certainly popular at Sundance Film Festival this year. Yeah, How do you sure. envision VR being incorporated in the future film festivals and that whole world? I think it's nice to celebrate it at film festivals because it draws people's attention to it, much like independent film, where not everywhere do people have access to those the theaters that show that type of content. Uh, but then as people see it uh, at home, uh, independent films, those festivals have drawn attention to it. So first you have to create a desire and an appetite for the content. And so film festivals are a great, great way to introduce people to it who might not be uh, have the technology in their own home. So I think anything that introduces people to new story technology is good at this point. And bringing this technology into homes uh, with such... Uh, platforms like Amazon, Netflix. Yeah. I know Apple is going to be the next oh, good. platform with VR. Good. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. yeah. So I what think. Are your thoughts on that? I think that these companies that uh, are are trying to reach their audiences and their customers in new ways, if they uh, make a big push in in the technology of virtual reality, you have a better chance. Like Facebook with Oculus, yeah. you have a better chance of it catching on and really catching fire. As has streaming technology, the internet, uh, television even back to film. So I think if, if, if they develop great content, that content's going to drive people to these technologies. And this technology, when it's entering theaters, um Oh. Sorry. Yeah. oh, I'm last so sorry. Last, yeah, uh, I think they want. Okay, yeah, well, we're going to wrap up this there. interview. We, okay, we would great. love to talk to you all night. Oh, thank you. John, you're extremely talented. Keep up the thank amazing you. work. Thank, thank you so you much, much for Pleasure this interview. talking to you. It's a pleasure talking take, with you as well. Care. Thank you.